guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be the five fights that every couple has. Number one is obvious, it's the I love you wars. Let me just tell you, I used to despise the people who did that. It was just so annoying to me. I didn't understand it. And then I met my ex. And then I did it for myself. And I was just as annoying as all the rest of the people who do the I Love You Wars. I okay, so everything's going good for like the first two or three months. You know, you're in the lovey-dovey stage. I love you more. No, I love you more. No, I no, no. Okay, so you're in that stage. But then there's always that first real fight. And it's always over something stupid. So this is number two. It's, it's usually about uh, no, it's about jealousy usually it's about another girl or guy or you not want to hang out with that person you want to go hang out with your friends it's always over something like that like that's that that's the first official real fight okay and, and it always and, and it always on for almost like just like a day or two okay the fight isn't even like it's just like oh well you know what forget you and then you know two hours later you're, you're calling them oh i wish you back i'm sorry you know and so that's that's the real first official fight but that is the second fight that every couple has every couple has a jealousy fight Okay, so number three, this fight happens a little bit after the jealousy fight, and this one happens because you were spending so much time with that person that they are getting annoying. And you're uh, learning of their annoying little quirks that they do that just, ugh, it just, ugh, okay? And me and my ex used to have this thing, because we, we saw a picture on Facebook that said, should I kill them to, so today, or should I make pancakes? And it says, I guess I'll make pancakes, okay? And so, like, me and my ex had this thing. Every time we would get annoyed at each other, we were like, should I kill you or should I make pancakes? Mmm, I don't know. Pancakes it is. Okay. You know, we used to always do that. So, I'm going to call this the pancake phase, okay? Now... It, it, it's always like this, uh, like they're just leaving their clothes on the floor, or they chew with their mouth open, or just, it's always something that's just like, it's so annoying, it's just something, you, you hate them for, you hate the fact that they do this thing, okay, and then that turns into a big argument, and then they're shouting things that they think are annoying about you, and you're shouting back things that you think are annoying about them, and that is the fight. Number four is what I like to call the help me, no leave me alone, help me, no leave me alone, help me, no leave me alone fight. And this is the fight where you are so stressed out about something and you take it out on that person, whether that person caused it or not, you're taking it out on that person, okay? So it's kind of, basically, in this fight, you were screaming, but you're crying at the same time. So it's a, it's, I hate you, I love you. That's what it is. And so basically, whatever caused you to stress out, you reach your breaking point, and it's boiling over, and you're just, like yelling at them and then you're crying and then you yell again and this goes on for about a good four hours okay this goes on for at least four hours and believe me I've had these fights and I'm just screaming and then I'm crying and then I'm screaming and then I'm screaming while crying it's the most ridiculous fight because sometimes that person didn't even cause it but you're taking it out on them because well because they're there Okay. Number five is the most serious, horrible, worst fight you can have. So I'm going to call it the make it or break it fight. Because it really is. This fight you can either get through or you don't. You either make it, it either makes your relationship or it breaks your relationship. I've had this. My experience, it broke us. Okay, now this is the fight where you honestly, you start hating that person. Like, the, the, it, you, you start actually hating that person. You forget why you are dating that person. You don't know why you are dating that person. You don't, you don't even really remember loving that person. You just, you hate that person. And it's just everything leading up to this fight. And this is the most explosive fight you can have. 
and it can last for two minutes or two hours. But at the end of that fight, it's going to be, is this it or not? Like, you know, it, did this make us or did this break us? Are we done or are we not? You know, are we getting past this or is this where we stop and get off? Okay? And it's all that's always what the end of the fight is. It's always it always comes to this and it's just it's the worst fight ever because you know it. You feel it coming. You feel it for weeks. You can't sleep because you know this fight is coming. You know that the make it or break it fight is coming and it sucks. And most of the times it breaks you, you know, and that's it might it usually breaks a relationship. But some people get through it. Some people, it makes their relationship, and I'm happy for those people. Just in my experiences, it has always broken. I always knew it, I knew it was coming. I always felt it. I knew it was leading up to that. So, that one was really serious. Um, probably the most serious one out of the whole video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of these, I've personally experienced myself. So, if you liked this video and thought it was funny, and you thought these... Uh, these uh, um, these stages, uh, these fights were true, give it a thumbs up. Um, if these are not true and that's the, you, have, you do not experience these, you have never experienced these, leave me a comment below, down below telling me what fights you have experienced. And if you enjoy watching me and you want to see more, please subscribe to this channel. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye!